Hi everyone, this is Sean from The Visionaries. Today I'm going to show you how to make the alt effect inside of One Studio. Let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is drag in the LSO file left in the description. Click the Google Drive link and download the file. Once you do that, drag it into your resources and it should give you something like this. The next thing you want to do is delete this camera right here and the light angle. Now you're going to want to get a camera and name this whatever you like. I'm going to name it Alt. So you're going to want to drag this above to the top and drag the sharpen effect inside of here. Now you're going to open it up until you get to the full frame region. You're going to duplicate this one. So there should be two. Now inside of here, you're going to click the screen image. You're going to set the blend mode to soft light. And then right here you should see the bounds. So once you see this, you're going to want to set this left one right here to negative 1.015 like this. And then the bottom one, you're going to set it to negative 0 0.99. <coughs> now you're going to come down to your resources right here where it says sharpen. And you're going to set the first sharpen amount to 150. And now you're going to duplicate this material. And it should give you sharpen 2 and you're going to set this one the sharpen amount to 1. Now right here where it says screen image 0 the one that we changed the bounds where it says material you're going to click sharpen 2. So now it should give you something like this. The next thing you want to do is make a new camera. So you're going to close this one at the top and you're going to click out of it. And you're going to press camera and it's going to give you a new camera. If you can't find your camera you want to come back inside of here and it might be under this full frame region. So now that you have this camera, you're going to name this one something different, but I'm going to name it Post Effect because this is where your color correction and your VHS effect will go. So once you're here, you're going to come and scroll down to Post Effects and you're going to click on VHS. So once it loads, it should give you the VHS Post Effect like so. You're going to come down to your resources right here where it says VHS. You're going to click this. And where it says bin, you're going to set everything to zero. Just like this. And now you're going to set the saturation to zero. And then where it says chromatic aberration, you're going to set this to 0 0.003. Now it'll look like this. Now this part is extra. Right here, you can come here and add a color correction like so and once it loads it'll be right here what you want to do is press add component you're going to scroll down until you see effects and click post effect and I'm going to delete this post effect at the top so you only have this one the next thing you want to do is you're going to add in your texture from files where you can drag it in and then once you have it you could just put it on right where the texture is and then you're going to want to drag this color correction above VHS but I don't have one so I'm just going to disable it next if you want to add the Kira Kira effect if you already have it you're going to make a new camera drag this camera above all the other ones you're going to name it what you want but I'm going to name it Kira Kira for example and then you would put all your files inside of here if this helped you guys, make sure to leave a comment on what you want to see next. Click the like button and press subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.